Yeah, look, and you've been a leading advocate on this. It's such an issue of women's rights, women's rights and girls' rights to be able to have those safe spaces, uh, places and organisations put aside for them. It makes so much sense. Of course, you know the overwhelming majority of the population is on board with you, yet these activists seem to have... They carry such sway with governments and bureaucracies and the like. And we're seeing this play out in Victoria now with the attempts by a lesbian group to have a, a function for lesbians who were born female. I, I, in other words, they only want women lesbians. They don't want transgender lesbians. They're biological males who identify as lesbians turning up, but they're having all sorts of uh, trouble, all sorts of protests about even being allowed to have such an event. And this is the exact sort of madness that we now find ourselves in, that um, women who want to, you know, have events like this need to be... Um, feel the need to be so prescriptive about what they're actually trying to achieve here because, um, you know, just having a, a women event for les lesbians these days would apparently also attract um, men who identify as women. So we just need to get back to basics here. Men are men, women are women, and there's nothing wrong with women being able to um, have their own events and have their own services and spaces because... Uh, you know, under law, that's what should be protected. But like I said, sadly, we are in a situation where that's no longer the case. Well, it's a perversion, isn't it? When you think about where feminism, feminism started and where this sort of radical feminist or radical trans agenda has, has led us, you've got a situation where women are wanting to have an event for women, but the, the radical activists insist that even if it's event, an event for women, then men identifying as women have to be allowed. Exactly, Chris. And I always find it really frustrating, particularly in the sports space, that so much ground has um, seemingly been um, seeded on this issue. When you think that um, women, you know, 50 years ago were fighting for the right to compete uh, in, in sports at the Olympics, to compete in sports at world championships. Uh, we have invested so much time and money in resources and resources in um, ensuring that we, we celebrate our women's sports stars in this country, uh, to then say that that's not important and that blokes should be able to participate in women's sport as well completely flies in the face of that, that very real and very genuine and important fight that generations of women have had. Spot on. Thanks for joining us, Senator Claire Chandler. You're a voice of sanity in this space. Thanks very much, Chris.